Now, today I'm going to restart, or do another cold start video on the GTO here. Now, last time I'd done it, it probably said for actually looking back, last time I got this out and started it, it was back at the uh, Vienna Hills Homeowner Association car show that I actually did a video on. And that was the last time I drove this, so it looks like it's been three, maybe four months-ish since this has actually started before then. Now it didn't do very well. Now this time it's probably, I started up, I didn't drive it, but I started up last week, tinkered with it, and I noticed I had a leak on the carburetor on the fuel inlet. So I got that fixed. Now keep in mind, this engine and carburetor was already with the car when I found it and it had set for the guy knew 10 years when he got it. He had it for 10 years. He let it sit for 10 years. So who knows how long it sat before he had it. So the carburetor hadn't probably been touched in 15 plus years. So who knows? But now uh, this time it's been a week. So I started it and let's fix a little uh, leak on the fuel inlet side. Should do much better. So now time to pop the hood, check the temps. battery real quick now if you can hear in the background other than the birds it is sleeting a little bit but my phone will work um so you can see 36 degrees so it is fairly chilly so let's get some temperatures real quick. And hopefully with the camera over here, it won't echo real bad like last time. Because it had a horrible sound echoing. if it'll idle though.
All right, now there it was. Now, with the leak fixed on the carburetor, it seems like it held fuel in there a bit longer. Enough for me to pump it several times to actually get it started this time. So, much better. It still doesn't like the cold too much. Obviously, there is no choke on it at all. So, it's still a little bit cold nature. I've tried tinkering with it, but I think the carburetor itself needs a full rebuild. Now, once it gets up to temp, starts and actually drive it, it actually does extremely well. So, I'm not too worried about it, especially since I'm going to change the setup anyway on it. So, there it is. Hopefully, it didn't echo too much in here. And now you can actually hear it pretty decently. Now, the alternator and the fan do make some horrible noises as well to this, so eventually all that will be changed too. But I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching.